In this video, I will show you how to create a template for a video spreadsheet. This spreadsheet will come in handy if you decide to make your videos through a program such as Animoto. This spreadsheet is handy for two reasons. One, you can check your spelling. Um, programs such as Animoto don't necessarily have spell check in there, so if you misspell something, it won't catch it and that will give your, or might reflect badly upon your business's reputation if you have a misspell misspelled word in your video. Um, the second reason is that if you wish to, you can just simply um, line up each of your videos one right after the other and um, you know just write the script and therefore make sure that you're not writing any of the same script twice. Um, so you know if I have, let's just say sample oops, written here, as soon as I start typing it automatically fills in so if you were to have line after line after line of script, it would simply be able, you would know if you were writing a duplicate copy or not. So um, that's one of the most important things when it comes to SEO videos is that each video is unique. So even if two different slides in, like if this, let's say this slide was the same as this slide in this video, that's okay as long as they're in different slides, but um, you want to keep it as unique as possible. Um, so that Google and other search engines recognize it as a unique piece of content and not a duplicate. So um, that's just a couple tips there. Um, here we set up about an 11 slide video here and we incorporate a couple pictures. If you have videos that you would like to use, you can also use clips from videos. Um, so we have roughly about five or six slides of text with a couple pictures. And then we always have the last slide is the call to action slide. Um, I will explain what a call to action slide looks like in a different video, but very simply this is just one black slide at the very end that has all of your contact information. So when somebody finishes watching a video, they know how to get a hold of you or click to find your website. Um, so that's just a very easy way to help the viewer take the next action. Um, Videos typically range between about 45 seconds and 60 seconds. You want to keep your videos as short as possible. If you have, let's say, a 10-minute series that you want to go through, it would be better to have five two-minute videos than to have one 10-minute video. The shorter the video is, the more likely a viewer is to watch the entire video. Um, you know, people might have short attention spans, and it might be easy to lose them if the video is a little bit too long. So. That is one thing to keep in mind. Um, specifically for Animoto, there are two lines for each slide of text. The first line has a 40 character max and the second line has a 50 character max. Um, so if you want to keep track of how many characters you are writing, I would use this formula up here that equals LEN and then just click the cell that you want to um, measure. So I'll just type that in here to be sure that you understand. So you can just do open parentheses and then select that cell and then close parentheses and hit enter. So now when I start typing in here, you'll see that it automatically counts how many words are in there. Right. And here you'll see it does count spaces as well. So um, that's something very simple. Again, this is a great way um, that spreadsheets can help you kind of set up your slides ahead of time. So if you ever are in a time crunch, you know, you could just fill in the text in this spreadsheet and then give this spreadsheet to somebody else to have them actually create and render the videos. Um, so this is just a really great way to um, get started making those videos. And like I said, this is a template that I have created. I like to create a separate spreadsheet for each video cycle, if you will. Um, so if you are creating you know, one video a week, you might want to just create one long list um, so you don't have 100 different spreadsheets. If you're creating maybe 10 videos per month, you might keep all of that month's videos in one, spread one spreadsheet. It's really up to you and what is the easiest way for you to organize. Um, in Google Docs, it's really easy to change the title here. All I've done is just put template in the title. This is not an actual template. Um, it's just a document that I named that way. 
And then in Google Drive, if you click File, make a copy, you can just simply rename it, um, let's just say Video 2, and then it will open a new document. And here you have a fresh, clean slate that you can start from for your next set of videos.